Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a lower ab workout. There's no equipment required for this workout. But you may want to use a mat for comfort. I'm going to be doing the intermediate through advanced exercises. And follow me for those beginner modifications. All right, let's hit the ground and get let's right go. into this thing. No waste in time today. I'm going to be doing a lying leg raise plus reverse crunch, where Claudia is going to do a lying knee raise plus reverse crunch. So we're both starting with her legs straight, but I'm going to keep my legs straight where she's going to bend at her knees, and then we're bringing our hips straight up and returning our legs back down. So it's four parts. One, two, three, and four. You decide if the knee raise or leg raise is more appropriate for you. Now we're not going to count any repetitions today. It's going to be just about getting in as many reps in as you can in the allotted time period. Making sure to breathe throughout. And on that reverse crunch, we're just bringing those hips up off the ground. You might not have a lot of range of motion on that one but we're just performing a reverse crunch, getting the hips off the ground and squeezing those abs. Making sure to breathe throughout. Do not want to hold your breath through this one. It'll be a major mistake. Excellent, one right into the next. Let's hit this one for 10 more seconds. Keep it moving. No breaks today, we're going hard and fast. Three, two, one, Zero. All right, next we're moving into a clam or a crossover clam. Legs are open, feet are together, hands are on our head. Now we're both going to bring our legs up as we crunch up, but I'm going to cross over as I do it and bring one elbow to opposite knee. Where I'm just bringing my elbows to my knees on this clam. Keep those feet together as you perform the movement. This one doesn't look like much, but it works fast. It's excellent at hitting that lower abdominal area. Making sure to breathe throughout. We're gonna get a lot of lactic acid burning today. Just remember, you are stronger than that burn. Pushing through. I want you to try your best to meet your upper and lower body together in the middle. Bring in your legs off the ground as well as your shoulder blades. Let's keep this one up for the last 10 seconds. Almost there. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're both gonna sit up for this next one. Legs out straight in front of us. I'm gonna do a sprinter. Claudia's doing a modified sprinter. We're on a 45 degree angle, opposite arm and leg are gonna work together where Claudia is gonna go ahead and bring that opposite leg and allow it to rest down in between reps. I'm gonna keep both legs up the whole time. Get opposite arm and leg working together on this one. And the further back you lean, closer to a 45, the harder it is, the further up you are, the easier it is. You decide which variation is gonna be right for you today. Either way, sticking with it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Line back down for the next one. Go ahead and place your hands under your glutes or lower back. I'm gonna have my legs straight. Claudia's gonna have a slight bend in her knees. We're doing figure eights. So you're drawing on the number eight with your feet and with your legs. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just about getting that up and down and side to side movement. The more bend in your knees, the easier this one's gonna be. The straighter your legs are, the harder this one will be. Make sure you're going each direction. So when you get down to the bottom of that eight, reverse it and go in the opposite direction. Excellent. Fighting through guys, you're doing great so far. Keep it up. One rep right into the next fighting through. Remembering what brought you here today to begin with. Whatever that is, stay focused on it. Let's hit this one for the last 10 seconds. Good. Keep it up. And five, four, three, two, one. All right. Same position for the next one. Now we're going to do leg crossover. If your knees or legs are bent, a little bit easier. Legs are straight, a little bit harder. You decide which one is right for you. 
opening those legs up and then crossing them over. One into the next, keeping those feet up. And also the higher your legs are, easier it'll be as well. Have them down here about six inches above the ground for maximum difficulty. Keep breathing, keep fighting guys. Focus on your goals, focus on what motivates you and what brought you here today to begin with. Come on, keep it up. One into the next. Come on, no giving up guys, you got it. Good. Let's hit this one for 10 seconds more. Almost there, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, ah, burned so good. I didn't know if I was gonna make it through that one. Ah, <laughs> we made it guys, and so Dude. did you. Excellent work. If you like this workout, you've been working out with us for a while and you're starting to see some results, we'd encourage you to please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed this workout, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're notified every time HasFit drops a new workout. Make sure to check out HasFit.com for hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and our free complete fitness programs. And if you're on social media, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, find HasFit because we want to connect with you. Thank you so much for working out with us today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.